In this video, I'll show you how to calculate compound interest. This is part one. Compound interest is when interest is earned not only on the initial amount invested, as in simple interest, but also on any interest as well. So pretend you made some interest money after the first payment period. You would add that money to the amount that you initially invested, and then you would end up with interest on top of that for the next payment period. So let me show you an example. Let's pretend that you are asked to calculate the amount if $1,500 is invested for three years at 7% per annum per year, compounded quarterly. So in this case, we will use this formula shown here, A is equal to P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N, and these letters are defined below. So our principal amount here, P, is equal to $1,500, and we are told that this amount is invested for three years. So our period, N, is equal to the number of compounding periods. Now in order to calculate n, we take the three year period, and we multiply it by the amount of times it is compounded. In our case, it is compounded quarterly. So according to this chart here, to find the n when it's compounded quarterly, you take your n value and you multiply it by four. In our case, our n is three, and we multiply it by four because quarterly means four times in a year. There are four quarters in a year. So I'm going to take this number 3 and multiply it by 4, and my n value is 12. Therefore, there will be 12 compounding periods within these 3 years. Furthermore, our interest, which is represented by the letter i, is calculated like this. So in our case, we have compounded quarterly, so we're going to take our interest of 7%, and we're going to divide it by 4. Then, after finding this, we'll divide it by 100, because we have to use the decimal version, not the percentage. So just to make a note of that, 7 divided by 4 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.0175, 0 0.0175. We have every piece of information we need to substitute into our formula. So let's go ahead and calculate the amount. A is equal to 1,500, 1 plus 0.0175 to the power of n, which is 12. 1,500, 1 plus 0.0175 to the power of 12 gives us 1,847. 1,847 decimal 15. So this is the amount of money that he has accumulated after three years starting at 1500. Let's move on to question two, another similar example. Here our p-value is 2400. Our n, this time, is compounded semi-annually. Semi-annually means twice a year, and it's for five years, so I'm going to take five times two, and that is equal to ten. That means multiply. And our i, we're going to take 3.4 divided by two, and then divide that by 100 to go from percentage to decimal. The reason why I divide by 2 because once again it's semi-annually, twice. 3.4 divided by 2 divided by 100 and that gives us 0 0.017. 0 0.017. I'm going to plug in these values into my formula. A is equal to 2400 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.017 to the power of 10 using our calculator 2400 times 1 plus 0 0.017 to the power of 10 and this gives us 2840.6 2840.6 so after five years this person has two thousand eight hundred forty dollars roughly in his bank so they earned approximately four hundred and forty dollars subtracting these two you'd get that amount and so there you have it that is how to calculate compound interest make sure you watch part two for more examples if you found this tutorial helpful please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video if you have any further questions visit our website at studyforce.com we're an online service for students seeking free homework help see you soon